Hey guys, it's Tiffany and welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome. So in this video, I wanted to do a quick channel update on the type of content that you're going to be seeing on this channel and also what I got from, dare I say, my favorite restaurant in Toronto, but we'll get into that in a little bit. So for this channel, I will continue to create try on videos, including clothing, shoes, size guides, and even product reviews for you guys and anything really related to wellness, beauty, lifestyle, that sort of thing. A lot of us are shopping a lot more online these days and sometimes it's really difficult to figure out what size you might be or what things look like on your body type and if you're short like me then you know that oftentimes things look a lot differently online on the models than they do um, in real life so hopefully these videos are helpful for you guys in some ways I will be showing you things that I'm personally looking for or shopping for um, so you're not gonna really see any crazy hauls on here I am trying to be more mindful and just minimal in the way that I'm I'm buying things um, and really just focus on things that I truly love and things that I can see myself using or wearing um, over and over again. So what does that mean for the food content that I've been creating on this channel? I personally really enjoy creating those types of videos. So if you're not already following me on Instagram at ByTiffLow, then make sure you do because I will be posting more Instagram stories and reels on where I eat, what I eat on a more regular basis. So if that's something you guys are interested in, then make sure you do that. And also I can probably connect with you guys a little bit better and utilize the polling and Q&A functions on on Instagram because I don't actually have access to the community function on YouTube yet until I hit a thousand subscribers so if you haven't subscribed yet then also make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a new video when it gets posted so that out of the way and save the best for last let's get into my favorite restaurant in Toronto Edulis is located on Niagara Street in this really quaint white and red house. It's really great for more intimate dinners and they focus on showcasing the ingredients of the moment with a strong focus on seafood and vegetables. They also offer five or seven course meals and for truffle lovers, when it's truffle season, they also offer a truffle menu. What's unique about them is they typically have a sample menu, usually online, but because their menu changes so frequently, when you're dining in with them, you won't know exactly what you're eating until you're seated. So there's going to be an element of surprise, but one thing is for certain is that you will not be disappointed. And I'm usually one of those people who will study a menu before dining with a restaurant, so I know exactly what I'm expecting, but with Edulis, it's an entirely different experience. And I'm okay with that. Everything on the menu is in the description, so if you're interested to know what everything is, then make sure to check that out. I also tried to plate the food as best I could based on the instructions they give you, and as you saw earlier, everything is packed and labeled really well. But just a bit of disclaimer here, my plating skills are obviously not the best, so it is not reflective of how insanely good everything actually was. Also, I was pretty hungry when I was filming this, so I really just wanted to enjoy the food as soon as I could. But if you guys aren't chefs or cooks, then I think at the very least, learning to plate food is a good skill to have, especially if you're ever hosting. Presentation is so important. And to be honest, when I saw the menu, I didn't think too much of this course here, but the leek was my absolute favorite out of everything that I had. The sauce was so creamy, flavorful, and all the elements together created different textures that just complemented each other, which made every bite such a delight. As I said earlier, their menu does have a strong focus on seafood, but they'll usually have one course offering a different kind of protein like the duck that I'm having here. If you dine in with them, they can usually accommodate your diet restrictions, but I don't believe they are currently doing that at the moment with the takeout. This course here is the cod with a tomato base and you can really taste all the herbs in this and it was just so fragrant and nothing short of what I expected. It was also served with a side of panisse which has a crispy exterior and almost a creamy custard-like interior. Think of them as fries made with chickpeas. Last but not least, for dessert was a salted honey tart with some whipped creme fraiche. And that's it for this video. I'll see you guys next time.